here we go. Press F. And I can toggle through my visuals in Photoshop. I click on the F. So this image is really nice. The products need to have a little more lightning, lightning, lighting to it so we can see it a little better. So let's click on the black and white circle here in the layers panel and then click on brightness contrast and then we'll bring the brightness up a little bit. So when I bring the brightness up, the products start looking good, but then the background gets really bright and it looks crazy. So um, you'll notice that the layer mask is white. If we make the layer mask black, it will bring the background image through. So edit, fill, and then foreground color, we want background color, we want black. Just gonna click on black and click okay. So now the original image is shining through, okay? So we're on the black layer mask. We can get a brush and I'm gonna get a soft brush and I wanna paint white. When I paint white, it brings the brightness contrast back. See that up there? It's not what I wanted to do. So I'm using a Wacom Cintiq and I'm using a soft brush. You can probably hear the pen on my Wacom Cintiq while I play on here. Now, if you don't have Wacom Cintiq or a tablet, you might want to take your opacity down to like really low and brush over it over and over again until you get to where you're looking where it's looking good. It's up to you. Bring my little brush a little smaller. I'm gonna get right down in there. And then I'm gonna make my brush bigger and brush over here a couple times. Okay, it's looking really good. Let's go in here. There we go. And then do the bottle top. It's looking a lot better. All right, and then you'll uh, do the towel. I want to take my opacity to 100 because I'm using my pen now. I don't want to. Don't want to touch that shadow too much, but I want that towel to stick out. Okay, and then do some of the soap here. Oops, I kind of liked hitting the face like that and then letting it stay dark here to give that edge. That's hot. <laughs> so that's the there you go. So now you got your brightness contrast and then you can go in there and you can uh, modify stuff like I might even go in there and make that a little darker in there because the highlight, the, the brightness was hitting that too much. Or you might want to go in there and do that part. It's up to you what you want to do. You want to, What things do you want to brighten and what things don't you want to brighten, right? So um, let me see here. Black, no. Put more white up right there where that shadow was and that's making it nice and beautiful there we go uh, this might be too bright right here so i might hit that a couple times with the dark so that this box will come out more than the towel will there we go let me see what that used to look like see that white with that that towel right here is too bright darkened it a little bit and now the box comes out more there we go and then we can do some verbiage on the bottom the top up here now this was uh, this was a uh, shot during a kind of a uh, overcast day so you might even want to do um a little bit of a uh, hue and uh, color color balance does not to be crazy color balance you want to put a little yellow into it so from sun put a little put a little sun in there it's up to you. Turn that off, see what it looks like. It's up to you if you want to have that yellow in there or the sun. You could have the yellow in there just for the products. Of course, you can use the black and you can get rid of the background color. And so 
the background can be the original color, and then the foreground could be the centerpiece. The products could be more yellow. All right, so it's up to you how you want to do it. 